guys. It's Carol. How are ya? The dogs and I are sitting out on the patio. It is so nice. It's 828 and uh, I believe it's 98 degrees, but we've got a, a nice little breeze so it doesn't feel bad at all. Uh, I'm waiting on Casey and the kids to get home from church. It's Wednesday night and uh, this was like the the last night of a summer youth program deal and so they were going to have water balloon fights tonight. <laughs> Rhett was really looking forward to it. <laughs> Taylor too. So they're going to be cooled off I hope. My plants, I'm just sitting ha here enjoying my plants. I won't show every single one to you again. I'm sure you're saying we've seen that moss rose. <laughs> But my two pots of red geraniums are bloomed out pretty, so I, I'm going to stick that in at the end. Stick that in at the end. I can't talk. Um, it's been a nice day. been a nice day. I'm going to attach this to a video of me making a card. In the comments, one of my subs said, you look cheerful. Well, I'm glad I look cheerful to y'all. I try to be. I, I'm... I have just as many problems and upsets as everybody else, but I try to see the glass is half full. Some days it's hard. I have a family member who is not doing well. Um, I've told you all that the mental health, mental illness gene runs in our family, and um, um, someone in my family is really struggling right now, really having a difficult time. It's my son, and he lives in Seattle, a, a long way away from me. Um, so, the kids and I, and Casey, we're all playing with watercolors. You know, I'm not an artist. I'm not trying to make you think I'm pretending to be an artist. I just love to play with watercolors with the kids. <laughs> and I've made some cards to mail out. And I made a card for him. And the video I filmed, I, I didn't do sound. I, I took the sound all off because the dogs were barking and the kids were talking to me. And so it's empty. I don't remember if I read you what the card says or not. It says, uh, it says, uh, it's okay to fall apart sometimes. <laughs> Tacos fall apart and we love them. <laughs> And I will always love you, too. <laughs> uh, so I tried to paint a taco. <laughs> Unfortunately, my taco looks like it has strawberries on it instead of tomatoes. But, oh, well. <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, one of my favorite sayings is, broken crayons still color. <laughs> uh, you know, some of us get, some of us are broken every now and then. But... Uh, we all do the best we can. So anyway, I'm going to stick that video in here for you <laughs> at my playing with watercolors. Here it comes. I think in my last video, I was making that lemon fluff dessert. Oh my gosh, we all enjoyed that so much. It was so good. But I'll tell you what I think maybe I should do. The graham cracker in the bottom get a little mushy so I think the next time I make that I will just make the fluff serve it in bowls and let people crush their own graham crackers on top and that would be much better because the graham crackers wouldn't be soggy graham crackers or vanilla wafers or uh, one recipe mentioned lemon Oreos I didn't even know they make lemon Oreos but that would be good but anyway, if you're going to try that recipe, that's what I suggest. Just make the lemon fluff, serve it in a bowl, and let people crumble up their cookies or crackers on top of it, and it'll be great. And then uh, a couple of you said that they didn't know canned evaporative milk would whip up like that. Evidently, this was back from the Depression era. <coughs> Sorry, the dog started barking. I'm out on the patio. Uh, anyway, evidently this was a depression era dessert for people who could afford a can of canned milk. Um, you, your canned milk needs to be extremely cold, either in the refrigerator for 24 hours 
or put it in the freezer for 30 minutes, but not any longer, not any less. Set a timer. That's what a, a website said that I went to. Also, you need to use a metal bowl, if at all possible, or a glass bowl, but preferably metal, and put the bowl and the beaters to your mixer in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. Everything's got to be super cold. Then you beat that canned milk uh, for a minute or two until uh, peaks form, and then you add a teaspoon of vanilla and somewhere between a half a cup and three-fourths of a cup of powdered sugar and beat that in until it's well incorporated and used for a topping on fruit or some kind of dessert. The only problem with it is is that you have to uh, you have to eat it right then. You, you can't make it ahead of in the day. It, it lasts for about 30 minutes. You need to serve it right then and you have to eat it all. <laughs> so I don't know what it does. I haven't ever tried that except to eat it right then so I don't know what happens if you just let it uh, sit longer but anyway if you are out of cool whip and you don't have whipped cream and you want a whipped topping you might try that sometime and see what you think of that okay I'm making this card for my son it says it's okay if you fall apart tacos fall apart all the time and we still love them and I'll always love you <laughs> so I'm trying to paint a taco uh, what else is going on? Not much. It's just been so hot. I'm ready for fall. Um, the kids and Casey and I made a video for you. It was a taste test. They got these things at Sam's that are similar to fruit roll-ups, except they're not full of sugar. They're just made out of fruits and apple juice, and they come in all kinds of different flavors. We made a taste test for you, and somehow I deleted it <laughs> but anyway if you shop at Sam's and you have kids uh, they might really like those things I forgot what they're called but it's like a fruit roll-up type deal they were good um, Molly the kids had a good time at church just now uh, that they had their water balloon fight and Friday night they're gonna have a movie on the grass with one of those big blow-up screens so I hope my grandkids get to come back over for that oh moving on to Casey's car yes uh, we believe that it's the air compressor that went out which is a big expensive fix I mean probably fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars minimum <laughs> Uh, we were not going to ask her brother to help her because he's busy. He's Rhett and Taylor's daddy, my son. But he volunteered to um, come get her car on Saturday on his day off and uh, take that compressor out and make sure that's the problem. And then he can go buy one and put it in for her. Which uh, the compressor itself cost quite a bit but it'll be more like a $600 fix than a 2000 so we are very very grateful that he volunteered to do that for her and uh, the kids are and Casey are gonna go with Casey's dad tomorrow afternoon and take the goats they have two goats <laughs> that live at their grandpa's house uh, take them to get neutered. That ought to be quite an experience. So they're going to do that tomorrow afternoon. And otherwise, there's just not a whole, whole lot going on around here. I'm trying to work on comments. I want to respond to all of your comments. I'm trying. I just I get overwhelmed. But I love reading your comments. And I'm painting cards for those of you who have birthdays. If you have a July birthday, you may get your card in October or November. But I'm working on it. I still have my list of people who would like to have a bookmark. I, I haven't forgotten you. I'll try to get all those things in the mail. And Shay, I know you want the avocado thingy, so I will, I'll be sending it to you. You know it takes me forever and a day to get anything done. I am really uh, enjoying this book. I'm going to finish it tonight. It's called, this is the one written by the hospice nurse. 
It's called The In-Between by Hadley Vlasos R.N. Unforgettable Encounters During Life's Final Moments. I am really enjoying this. I'm going to read you just a tiny passage from it. I'm just trying to get through and figure out which one I want to read to you. Dogs keep barking, so I'm just going to stop here, guys. But I appreciate you watching and visiting with me. And um, let me know what's going on in your life, please. Leave me a comment. If I could have a thumbs up, I would surely appreciate it. Thank you guys so very much. I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye.